Good afternoon, my Yugi friends. Long time no see. I'm back in Palma, and uh, it has been a trip for me. Finally, I'm back back here, and today I'm gonna bring you this flow. It's a very interesting flow. It's a lot of uh, twisting and rinsing. So after this flow, your stomach, your digestion, your digestion system is gonna feel a whole lot better. I hope. Um, and uh, also, this flow requires a lot of balance, a lot of balance, and a lot of focuses. So, um, but it's okay if you fall out of the poses and just come back in. All right, so let's get started with today's flow. Let's um, come directly into a um, cat and cow. Just to start um, mobilizing the spine. You can do all kinds of uh, rolling around your spine the way you want. You can do the traditional cat and cows, or you can just um, bring a little uh, dynamics to the movement as you wish, just to mobilize the spine and the muscles around the spine. Three more rounds of breaths. And come back to neutral and um, table up, tabletop position. Tuck your toes and bring your hips, sit bones up to the sky. Come into this downward facing dog. Just walk it out. Let the tight hamstrings loosen up. Relax your head and your neck and your shoulders. Don't put too much stress on your shoulder and on your arms. Once you are ready, come to stable and uh, inhale. Come to the bow on the balls of your feet. Exhale, simultaneously bring both heels towards the right side. Your shoulders and your head still facing front of the mat. And just stretching a bit on the left side of the body. Take big breaths in, exhale, come back to center and bring it to the other side. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center and let's stay here for one round of breaths in this downward facing dog. Slowly walk to the top of your mat and the feet a little narrower than uh, hip distance wide and just let the upper body hang here. You can hold the opposite of each elbows and let the body dangle here. Feel the heaviness of your upper body here. You can close your eyes, swing your body side to side just to feel good here. Open your eyes and uh, let's place the left hand in right beneath our eyes and bend the left knee a little bit and raise up the right arm to the sky. Come into this uh, forward, stand forward bend twist. Gaze follow your right hand. Take a big breath in, breath out, switch side. Left arm up, gaze up, twist from belly, twist from belly button area. Exhale, release. 
and let's interlace our hands behind the low back hold it tight and drop it down backwards back and upwards forward behind the head let the arms hang relax the neck and shoulders you can swing side to side just to release a little bit more on the shoulders and your breath out release the hands to touch the floor open your eyes with your eyes closed and come into a forward bend once again slowly bend both of your knees let's roll up to standing mountain pose let's stay here for one round of breaths you can shake your body and let's get ready for our flow today inhale arms up gaze up exhale swan dive to the floor inhale half lift uh, spine extended neck extended exhale fold fold and come um, bring your left foot to the back of your mat followed with the right foot come into a plank pose stay here for for one round of breath and knees down chest down chain down to the floor coming into um cup your chest open in front of you and come into this baby cobra arms under the shoulders and arm pay uh, elbows tucked in exhale come back to tabletop inhale exhale lift the hips up into downward facing dog stay here for round one round of breaths and inhale lift your right leg into the sky exhale right foot in between your hands and left knee down lift up your torso hands on your right knee come into this low lunge with hands on knee stretch the right leg right hip a little bit in front just to feel the stretch on the hip area feel the opening of the left hip take a big breath in exhale bring both hands on the inside of your right foot your um, your right shoulder and the armpits are tucked in with your right um, right side right knee and right side and take a big breath in exhale circle the left arm to the sky gaze follow i'm coming into this low lunge um revolve low lunge opening chest opening just open up the chest and collarbones take a big breath in breath out come back to center in this low lunge pose inhale arms up exhale hands together in front of you and coming into a twist to our right side your left elbow tucked outside of your right knee and tuck your left toes left toes lift your right knee uh, lift your left knee up coming into this low lunge twist stay here keep it strong and slowly bring the weight onto your right leg and bring the right left foot to meet right still keeping the upper body in a twist position 
Stay here for one round of breaths. And your breath out, lift your arms up. Keep staying in this chair, chair pose. Exhale, up to mountain pose, hands together in front of your heart. Rest. Take three deep breaths in and out here. Just to make connection with our breath, with our body, feel the poses that we just had. How did they do on your body? If you feel any pain or strain, just release it and don't put too much stress on yourself. You can rest in child's pose. All right, let's do the, um, uh, let's do the other side. Inhale, circles, arm up to the sky, gaze for low, exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, half lift, spine extended, exhale, bring the feet back into plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chain down, and pop your chest front into a baby cobra or upward lifting. Exhale, come back to tabletop and bring the hips up into downward facing dog pose. One round of breaths here. Inhale, lift your left leg into the sky. Exhale, left foot in between the arms. Right knee down, hands on top of left knee. Stretch open the hips. Feel the stretch on the right hip extension here. Take a big breath in, bring both hands inside the left foot. Um, your left arm and shoulders are tucked in with, uh, tucked in your left side and the knees. And take a big breath in, exhale, bring the right arm up. Open your chest to the sky, broaden your collarbones. Gaze follow the right hand. Just try to imagine yourself opening up. If you cannot, just try to ex bring your um, right shoulder backwards to the left side. Try to open up here. Exhale down, come into center. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands in front of you and come into a low lunge twist to the left side. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee and stay here. Focus and bring your right foot to meet the left. Keep the upper body still in a twist position and come into a chair. One round of breaths here. Exhale, back to center. In this Tadasana mountain pose, let's rest here. You can shake your legs, your body. Five rounds of breaths here to loosen up the stress and to get the benefits in. All right, come back to stillness. Two rounds of breath here. Bring your focus back in. Open your eyes, inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down into forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, calf chest open into 
upward lifting exhale bring the hips up downward facing dog stay here one round of breaths inhale right leg up three leg dog exhale right foot in between arms this time left knee not down on the floor and let's lift body up into high lunge pose stay strong here with your right foot firmly into the floor right knee at 90 degree angle your arms up shoulders down and keep the core stable gaze forward exhale bring the hands together at heart center and twist towards the right at at your uh, at your twist at your belly button and extended your arms out in line with your shoulders take a big breath in exhale right hand touch the left thigh and left arm up extended upwards or backwards coming into this revolved high lunge twist stretch pose take a big breath in exhale warrior two stay strong here gaze in front of you take a big breath in flip to your right hand to the sky and come into a reverse warrior two exhale side angle with the right elbow on the right knee but keep the form don't don't collapse onto your right knee you, you keep you keep your core engaged here extend through the from the left toe to the left fingertip exhale come into wide leg forward bend bring your foot bring your toes inwards a bit a little bit both of your um, foot inward a little bit and come into this wide leg forward forward take a big breath in in out three rounds of breath here let your head hang feel the stretch on your both hamstrings and inner thigh all right from here place your left hand um, right in front of uh, right underneath your gaze and take a big breath in lift your right arm to the sky coming into this wide leg twist gaze follow your right hand exhale change side bring your left hand up to the sky exhale release come back to center and place your hands around your hip area slightly bend your knees a little bit and bring your body up pivot your toes out into about 45 degrees uh, diagonally to outwards and uh, let's do three rounds of uh, goddess pose with cactus arms inhale arms up extend to the sky exhale bend the knees and arms into a goddess cactus arm pose inhale up exhale down 
make sure that your upper body is lifted and the crown of your head is lifted and your elbows are trying to tuck into your body like this and feel your armpit feel your shoulder blades greasing each other inhale stretch exhale cactus inhale one more time and face to the front side of our mat mm. oh sorry actually it's this side face uh, to the front side of our mat bring your left toes slightly inwards into a 45 degree angle and your right foot Perpend, uh, perpendicular to the long edge of the to the short edge of the mat facing forward come down into this triangle pose and your right uh, left arm circle around swing around the room and try to reach the outside of your right foot place your hand right uh, left hand here and bring your body into a twist at the hip level and your right hand holding your hips or extended into the sky as you wish slowly bring the right hand down and left hand on the left side and let's kick the um, back leg up lift your body slowly with focus and come into warrior three your head and your left toe are pulling to into opposite directions and you're feeling there is a line between your head and your left foot slowly bring the body up lift the left knee to the chest take a big breath in and out don't forget the breath and slowly bring the right hand on the outside of your left knee coming into this standing leg lift twist your hand your right hand and your left knee are pushing each other trying with this opposite strength and you feel the twist from your belly button area let's come back to center bring the uh, the left knee on top right, uh, right trying to interlace the legs and left arm underneath right and bring your arms into eagle pose let's stay here take inhale exhale bend down a little bit more bring your hands into anjali mudra if not like a namaste if not you can just let your hand twist one uh interlace one time inhale exhale release come back to center and shake the body and now let's do it on the other side inhale arms up exhale swan dive to the floor inhale half lift exhale plank pose inhale here exhale knees chest chains down inhale cobra baby cobra upward lifting and exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg up to the sky exhale in between the hands inhale lift up into high lunge pose stay here strong keep the core strong three rounds of breath here exhale hands at heart center twist to the left extend the arms 
in line with the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, come into this revolved stretch. Inhale here, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the left hand. Exhale, come into a reverse, reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, side angle, stretch. Open up your shoulder to the sky. And externally rotate your um, left shoulder. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Bring your feet, your toes inward a little bit. Exhale, release here in this wide leg forward bend. Inhale, left hand down, right arms up, wide leg twist. Exhale, switch sides. Release, bend your knees slightly, and let's bring the body up. Toes out into 45 degrees angle diagonally, and let's do three rounds of goddess cactus arm pose. Inhale up, extend, exhale, bend the knees and arms. Inhale up, exhale down. Squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale up, Exhale down, open up the chest to the sky, inhale, and bring the left toes facing forward to the mat, in front of the mat, and the right, right leg into 45 degrees, and let's come into this triangle pose, and with your right arm, Swing across the room, place it down onto the um, out, outside of the left foot. Press your right hand down firmly into the floor, twist from hip area, and your right hand, left hand holding the hip, or extend it to the sky, as you wish. Slowly. Bring your gaze in front of you, bend your left knee, come into, bring your right leg up and come into this warrior three pose. Ooh, a little wobbling is fine, just focus. If you lose balance, just come back in. Slowly bring, inhale, bring the um, right leg up into the chest. And let's come into this standing twist pose. Bring your um, right hand um, outside of your right knee and twist at the belly button to the right. Gaze follow your right hand or just watching in front of you. Find a focus point. Stay focused and balanced. And slowly come back to uh, center facing front, cross the legs, and bring the right arm this time underneath the right at uh, the left, interlace the hands, interlace the arms, not the hands, and come into this eagle pose. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend down a little more. Exhale, release, come into mountain pose. Shake, shake, shake. Now let's do one round of, uh, one last round of vinyasa and come into a child pose. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale. Plank. Inhale. Exhale. Knees chest down. Inhale. Cobra. Upward lifting. Exhale. Coming to a child's pose. 
Rest your forehead on the mat. Can shake your head a little bit, rubbing your forehead on the mat. Release your upper body on top of your legs. And bring your energy, your concentration, your focus inward in this pose. Now let's cool down. And slowly lift your body up. And bring the legs on the right, uh, left side or right side, whatever choice you take. And just bring them out in front of you. And sit up and tall. <sighs> lift your body, inhale, lift your body up. Like somebody's pulling you up directly up, upwards. Exhale, fold forward. In the sitting forward fold position. Make sure you um, bend at uh, at the hips, not at the lower back. Don't run, don't run your low back. Your low back should be protected in this pose. If you cannot fold too much, just um, do it half halfway as much as it's not rounding your lower back, and you can feel the um, the backside of your leg strand, uh, stretched. Three rounds of breaths here to cool down. Slowly release and bring the right leg, uh, right foot um, on, on the outside of your left knee. And um, bring your uh, left Elbow outside of your right knee and twist to the right side. Support yourself with your right hand behind you in the floor. Lift your body up. Don't run. Don't, don't run your body or collapse, collapse your body. This is the half lot of the fish's pose. It's very good for the digestion system. I mean, the whole flow is very good for the digestion system because we did a lot of twisting today. Let's come back to center and change sides and bring the left foot outside of your right knee, out, right elbow out of your right knee and come into the twist to the left side. Slowly release and uh, let's bring the feet together on, um, in this uh, um, Baddha Konasana pose, butterfly. Just bring the soles of your feet meeting each other and your knees wide open to the boat, to the sides and sit up and tall. Hold from your feet or from your ankles. Brace here. Two more rounds of breath. Let's come come down to um, on our back. <clears throat> Massage your lower back um, on the floor like this with your knees bent. Swing side to side your legs, massaging your lower back. And let's bring the both knees to the left side. But um, we, um, come into a twist, a recline twist. With both knees on the left side and face the right side. Make sure your right shoulder is still resting on the floor here.
with your legs and bring them to the right. Turn your body to the left, facing the left and your left shoulder on the floor. Slowly, let's bring the legs, the knees into the chest and give them a little uh, soft, gentle touch and a massage on the shins, on the feet. Make a squeeze and release into our final pose, Shavasana. Let your body melt into the floor. Relax your head, your eyes, your eyebrows, your ears, chin, neck, shoulders, chest, low back, Bellies, your belly, your hips, your glutes, sides, shins, your calves, your feet, your arms, hands, the melt into the floor. We stay here in this shavasana for about two minutes. To reap the benefits of the flow we had today. It's a rinsing, detoxing flow. That at the end of the flow, right now, you're going to have all the benefits of it. Just let your body relax and absorb. Slowly deepen your breath. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Touching your forehead, your face, your hair. Use your fingers. Come to come on to either side of your body curl in and press yourself up slowly into an easy seated pose 
Sukhasana. Your eyes still closed, you can blink them open. Hands on top of our knees, palms up to the sky. A receiving gesture. Thank yourself for being here on this mat today to flow your body, flow your energy. Let's take a big breath in, arms up, exhale, hands together at heart center, bow down. Namaste. Thank you so much, my Yugi friends, for being here in this flow with me. And I hope you enjoy this flow. And uh, I hope to see you soon. I will bring you more flows and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>